Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anubhuti and I love to talk about everything beauty related. I love to do product reviews and I love to get use out of my makeup collection more efficiently. I have been doing a lot of project planning content here on my YouTube channel since last year and I have been doing also two looks one palette using my existing uh, eyeshadow palettes from my collection. So if those are the things you are interested in, please make sure to subscribe before jumping into today's video. So as you know from the title, we are here with my project pen update for my Clue 2 uh, special panning edition project pen. I will link my introduction video here in somewhere in the cards. To, so then you can go and check out all the details. I have mentioned everything there. But uh, I would just give you a little bit of uh, small info about it. This is basically a modern mystery style project pen. It was created by Stephanie Lager, um, which is yet another Steph. I will link her also in the description box below. So please check it out. This is a Pentastic Ladies collab. Pentastic Ladies is a Facebook group where all the penning enthusiasts come together. They come up with fun project pen ideas and you're free to participate in this one. This project starts from 9th of June. Uh, 2024 and then it will basically run till you crack the modern mystery so basically to give you uh, a little bit of the story behind it so there is um so somebody is murdered it's mr body uh, we are calling him mr body so mr Bo body has been murdered and we have to solve uh, the crime and there are uh, clues in our makeup collection so basically there are there is a list of suspect list of weapon and list of rooms uh, possible rooms and you have to pick uh, three options from each category so basically you have to choose three th suspects three weapons and three rooms uh, for one month and you have to uh, choose products that fit those prompts so there is there are prompts associated with those uh, clues and then you have to roll a pair of dice and then when you roll a pair of dice you get a number and that's the number of usage you have to assign on that particular product so i hope it makes sense still check out my this uh, introduction video where i explain everything in detail and i'm not gonna go into those many details here now so what i've decided to do is i have decided to randomize uh, my categories uh, so then i have uh, randomized three suspects three weapons and three rooms and i asked, chose my products handpicked them and then i rolled a pair of dice and then assigned a uh, usage code to them so then uh, first we are going to talk about the update uh, so then what happens when you, once you hit a goal then you can uh, submit your guesses and you have to uh, share it on the facebook post basically and then stephanie uh, randomizes a solution for everybody so then if it is true uh, your guess is correct or not uh, she will give you a clue uh, if it is correct um, then she will tell you it's correct if it is not then she will give you some clue about it that uh, for the like help you in making for the progress uh, in your guesses so but then there is a catch so you have to you can submit guesses uh, with uh, the minimum number of success so if you have one room uh, but two weapons and two suspects completed you can still make one guess because you have only one room uh, finished so but you can use those um, completed prompts as a, a guess in your future um, months I hope it makes sense but let's talk about uh, what I have been working on so I'm going to go category by category so I'm going to talk about suspect category first and then weapon and then room and then I'm going to tell you what my um, completed clue was uh, completed guess was and what is my clue um, yes I managed to complete one guess so I managed to submit only one guess and we'll talk about the products as we come true so for suspect my first uh suspect that category was uh randomized was miss scarlet and that means something red and for that i picked up uh my kiko magical holiday matte lipstick this is in the red packaging and then dice ruled uh 12 usage for this one so uh, i had to use it 12 times and i have used it only two times so far so 
have been working on a lot of lipsticks and this is a cool toned pink lipstick which is not something i reach for these days so yeah this is still staying in not rolled out then the second suspect was randomized as Mrs. Peacock and that was something blue and for that I chose um, and then the dice rolled six usage and for that I chose my Essence Six Pen Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Ice Ice Baby and I decided uh, to yeah the goal was to reach for it six times and so far I've reached for it three times um, but so yeah there are still three more usage to go so this is still also I've prompt that is not rolling out but then final suspect was uh Kona mustard that was something yellow and for that i chose my uh urban decay all nighter setting spray a uh, vitamin c version which is this beautiful yellow packaging and uh dice assigned seven usage call on this one so then uh yes i have managed to use it seven times so then uh, there was not much left to assign a goal to use it seven times or finish it uh but I managed to finish it exactly in seven uses. So then, yeah, gold match on this one. So that was my first suspect that I completed. So, color mustard is my suspect. Now let's talk about the weapon that I managed to complete. So for uh, weapon category, I had first uh, randomization, which was lead pipe, and for that was something in tube packaging. And for that, I chose my Mizon BB cream. And then the goal was to use it 11 times. Um, and then I managed to use it nine times so far. So this is still not completed. For the second uh, weapon, that was a knife, something, a product that you need to sharpen. And for that, I chose my Hyatt uh, lip liner, HP Beauty lip liner. Um, and uh, the dice assigned nine usage on this one. And so far, I reached for it seven times. So that means this is also not my weapon of choice this month. Now, final weapon that I was working on was rope, and that was a multi-purpose product. And for that, I chose my super LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer, and I assigned a five usage gold one on this one, so which was kind of a gimme, but I managed to uh, meet my goal on this one. So this was my weapon category that I used for my guess. So rope and. Uh, the room category so first randomization was billiard room and that was something a product with striped or solid packaging for that i chose my essence uh, six pan eyeshadow palette with solid packaging solid orange packaging in the shade uh in bronzed this way this is how it's looking like and dice was kind enough to assign two usage goal on this one and that is matte so this is my guess for the room um and the second room that was randomized was conservatory and that was a product in the packaging you will recycle or reuse and for that i chose my mac paint pot because this is definitely a glass packaging and recyclable so i'm gonna do that and then this had a goal to use it 12 times but i've reached for it only one time so far don't know why because I don't really reach for eye primers that often so maybe that's the case but uh, yeah this is still staying in and the last room was kitchen which means a Franken product and for that I chose uh, my Franken blush uh, small blush this is kind of a berry pink shade and that, so that dice assigned 11 usage on this one and so far I have reached for it only four times so this is also staying in so I actually in my f like how it should work i managed to complete exactly one suspect prompt one weapon prompt and one billion one room prompt so i could only submit one guess and my guess was color mustard with rope and uh, in billiard room so that was my guess so these are the three products three categories that will be rolling out but that is not the correct guess. <laughs> so that's what my guess was. Color mustard with rope in a billiard room. Uh, that is not the, the guess, correct guess. And for that, uh, actually, I got a reply from, uh, from Stephanie. She said, um, it could not have been in the billiard room. 
two of the guests were live streaming their pool game no act of violence were captured in the video unless you count the cat getting spooked and knocking over several pool cues so it's definitely not a billiard room that's my clue uh, and i'm gonna work on it so then i will try to not roll billiard room so that is something i'm eliminating from my room category that means we have still one rollout from each category which means we have to randomize one suspect one weapon and one more room for uh, because the goal is to definitely work on one on three from each category every month so uh, yeah let's talk about let me uh, update my wheel let me remove my billiard room because that's not the correct guess so i'm going to remove the billiard room from the list and uh, then we are going to roll so then for the suspect uh, kuna mustard is can still be a suspect so then i'm going to uh, reset the wheel the goal is it should not be i cannot work on to roll in so then if i get miss scarlet or mrs peacock i have to re-roll so let's uh randomize the suspect first which is mr green something green okay and let's also randomize a number i i don't have a dice but i am going to uh because we have to roll a pair of dice. So I'm going to do two, two, uh, I think 12. So then we are going to uh, generate a random number for the usage goal from two to 12. And that's going to be three. Okay, uh, so three usage goal on this one. Uh, now, let's go to the wheel again and randomize our weapon so we okay now the weapon is going to be okay so i have uh selected my products for the new prompts uh and then i'm back so for uh, the suspect that we are introducing this month is mr green that is something green and for that i chose my uh, nika glamorize gold slash liner in the shade emerald wand and this is a beautiful green shade so this is also the green packaging and also the shade is green that's going to be my pick for this product and then the randomized goal on this one is for three uses the second uh, category is that is weapon that we are introducing this month is for wrench that is something broken and for that i chose my audible vivid baked highlighter this has a broken packaging this is a baked product so i'm really hesitating uh to repress it uh although this is uh, this is by the brand oddbo and i have really loved it the quality is the quality is superb at par i love it more than max soft and gentle and this is kind of a similar shade and this is quite unique in my collection actually i swatched it against all my uh, like shifty highlighter this shifts from like peach to pink this has like a little bit of iridescent but uh, this is a beautiful shade. Um, I'm not sure if uh, the camera is catching the part properly or not. But this is really beautiful. And then uh, since the packaging broke on me, I'm not reaching for it. And I do want to um, use it more. Um, and since the goal, uh, randomized usage goal on this one is 12 uses, I think I can um, get more use out of it. So I'm going to do 12 usage on this one and then I will also try and repress it and see if it's changing a little bit of the product. I will take it out and repress it in some other container to see if it is still keeping the same or not because I'm not sure if I will reach for it as is in a broken packaging. I'm not someone who reaches for the broken packaging products very often but this is exceptional uh, and this is such a beautiful shade that it is an exception to be still in my collection so that's going to be my pick for wrench something broken for 12 uses and then last uh category 
uh, for rooms, we are rolling in a new room, which is dining room uh, product you apply with a brush. And for that, I chose a duo. Um, and that is from Catrice Holiday Skin Bronzer Glow Palette. This is, uh, you can see it's an evidently a dupe for um, Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. Uh, this is a bronzer and a highlighter. I'm not impressed by the quality of this one. This is quite powdery and also not very, like the highlighter is blah. The bronzer is okay, but bronzer is soft. And I think it was a little bit too deep for me, but the the highlighter is really lackluster and powdery so um but then bronzer shade is now is the time then it can work for me so this is the bronzer and this is the highlighter this is quite lackluster so then i think uh, that's going to be my pick for uh yeah for dining room the product you apply with the brush and then for that the randomized usage was seven uses i have to reach for it seven times so um, by the way, this is also on my chopping block for this year because this is just, I don't want to keep the products that I've been working, like just doesn't work for me and I'm not reaching for it, just grabbing, like occupying the space in my vanity. So um, yeah, I have, I can make my mind in seven uses for sure. So let's recap. So for the suspect category, we still have Miss Scarlet, which is something red, my Kiko Milano lipstick uh, for 10 more uses on this one. Um, to meet my 12 uses goal and then we have um, mrs peacock something blue for my um essence ice ice baby eyeshadow palette and then i have to reach for it three more times to meet my goal of uh six usage on this one so this is the second uh, suspect and third suspect that we are rolling in today is mr green something green and for that i'm choosing my um nika glamorize uh, eye pencil in the shade emerald wand for three uses so these are my three suspects i will be working on for weapon we have lead pipe uh that is my something in tube packaging my mise on bb cream for two more usage to meet my 11 use goal on this one uh then we have knife a product that needs to be sharpened so for my that i have yacht beauty eyeliner sorry lip liner for two more uses to meet my goal of nine usage on this one and then we are rolling in something new for wrench that is something broken for that we have to work on my audio vivid baked highlighter um for 12 usage so this is fresh in the project <laughs> then in the last category which is rooms uh we have three rooms that are, we will be working on first is conservatory which means a product uh that you in a packaging that you will recycle or reuse that is my mac paint pot for additional 11 usage to meet my goal of 12 usage on this one then we have kitchen uh something franken so for that i have my franken blush um for seven more uses to meet my goal of 11 uses on that one and then we have a new room introduction today with dining room a product you apply with the brush and for that i have my catrice um bronze glow palette this is a duo and for seven uses so that those are all the products and uh like all the options i will be working on in upcoming month and then i hopefully can make progress i can still see some products i have really have good progress on those so then i'm going my focus for the next month is going to be um mrs peacock for sure i will try three more uses only three uses to go on this one and mr green so these two are going to be my focus for suspect category for upcoming month um then for for weapon category i think i can focus on lead pipe uh, which is uh, for two more uses and uh, also knife something to be sharpened for two more uses so i can roll out two of the weapons um easily and for the rooms i'm not sure i can focus on conservatory which is uh, something that uh, i would like to recycle or reuse that is for painterly my make paint pot because i can reach for it every time i do my makeup so um uh, yeah and then i have a seven seven usage on 
the other two rooms. So I think all three are like equally manageable goals, but I do want to at least manage to hit two goals on the rooms category also. So that is it for today's update. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Are you also participating in this project? Please share your details, like how your progress is going so far, how have been your guesses, how is your uh, product progress overall. Um, I would love to know the details. And if you still want to participate in this project, maybe you're intrigued by it, you feel free to join the Fantastic Ladies group. I will link everything down in the description box below in case you're interested to know more details. And I think that is it for today's update. I think deciding the focus products every month uh, gives you a little bit more progress then you have a narrowed vision you're not overwhelmed because of course there are nine products in this category in this project so it can get overwhelming sometimes uh, but i'm i'm happy let's see let's try to roll out uh two from each category this time and uh, yeah i i hope so i make a good progress this time so that is it uh, for today's update. Have a good day, good night, depending on wherever in the world you are. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.